let's take this off first. Okay. So take this off. We're just going to do undo it. And we're going to pull this out. All this piece here is is a, a shipping spacer to help keep the bike upright. So I don't know how much of this I'm going to show in the video because this is the same as every other Magicycle you build. It comes like this. And all you have to do is lift this up. If you put your foot here, you can stand on this and pull it out. I'm just doing it with my fingers. Just holding it up enough and setting it back down. You don't need this anymore. Now you're going to reach in here. And here's your spacer. And you're going to pull that spacer out. That's all it is. It's a spacer to keep the, the pads from collapsing on each other if you accidentally pull your lever, your brake lever. If you pull this brake lever right now, those pads are going to close. Good luck getting your rotor in if you do that. So the skewer goes through. Just like you're eating an ice cream. Okay, wheel is on. All right, now the bike will stand up on its own. All right, now we're gonna put the pedals on. All right, these pedals are marked with an R and an L. L goes on the left side, R goes on the right side. Guys, we are assembling the Magicycle Deer. This is the Magicycle Deer. You say, well, it looks very similar to an Ocelot and to a Cruiser and a Cruiser Pro. Very much so. This has a few unique things that I'll explain to you as I go over components. So uh, let's just put this on. Once you get it started, take a 15 millimeter Rotate it on. Once it gets fairly tight, just give it a little bit more. About like so. Now we'll do the same to the other side. Okay, so we're going to take the stay off here, the fender stay. We'll take the fender stay off the other side. Then we'll reach up here. I think this one is a five. We will take the nut off the back side and the washer off the back side. Now we're going to slide the fender up on. I'm just going to set it there light and I'm going to put it on like so. Then I'll put the washer on, the nylon nut, and now we will tighten this up. A number 10 comes in the bag, so we'll take a number 10 and shove it right back here. Then we'll take our number 5, Tighten this up. Then I'll tip this down to fit where I think it should be. Now it'll probably have to be adjusted from there. And now I have to put the stays back on. Okay, there we go. Forget to take your plug. Look at your aligner right there. There's your aligner, aligner uh, notch. Basically, six o'clock, six o'clock. Plug it in. No twisting. Just six o'clock and six o'clock, and it goes in. That's all there is to assembling, guys. It's not a whole lot. Now we will 
charge the battery, and then we'll go over components. Your key should be locked up here on the handlebars. Just clip that tie strap. Now you have your keys. Here's your charging port. If you open this up, you can charge via here. Or you can unlock it from this side, turn the key, it will elevate it out to here, then use this key here to pull it out. This is very tight. If you notice, I just pulled it up a little bit and then pulled it out. But this is your locking mechanism to keep it from banging out when it, when it comes out. All right, we'll charge this battery. This is a heavy battery. We'll charge this battery and then we'll get back to it. All right, hey, hey, everybody, RV enthusiasts here. Nice seeing you again. I am looking all over myself because we are uh, out going to ride the Magicycle Deer. This is what it looks like. Uh, very pretty bike and uh, soft tail. Most other components seem to be the same as the uh, Cruiser Pro. Uh, a little bit of differences, and I'll, I'll, I'm going to go for a little bit of ride, and I'll talk to you. I'll pull over. We'll talk about them a little bit. But let's get on it and see how she rides. 
one of the first things I want to tell you is uh, it comes factory standard with a PAS1 set at 20%. No longer are we set at 40 or 45%. So right off the rip, she very smooth, very smooth. Uh, no jerk uh, when you're first pedaling and getting 40% of your uh, juice to your wheel. Yeah, it's a very nice day out, so uh, we take them when we can get them, and we were hoping for a nice day after we assembled, and uh, look for uh, a day to ride this thing for the very first time. So, a couple of big differences. One is uh, that soft tail is uh, very nice. That soft tail is very nice. The other thing, the uh, the display being set to uh, properly up right off the rip, rather than uh, having to reset that for you, is a nice addition as well. I mean, it's pretty good. Let's see what she does. Also, it's set from factory at 20 miles an hour. You'll want to reset that to, to 28. And uh, with me on it, she's doing about 27.2 on, uh, on the battery. So another real good feature I'm going to tell you is if you have an Ocelot Pro or an Ocelot, and you want the deer, don't really need to get an extra battery. The Ocelot battery is the same battery. So that's very fortunate. It's really a good thing. I'm trying to make some adjustments on cameras here. I hope you can appreciate that. Uh, we are recording with uh, three three different microphones right now uh, one being uh, the digital recorder and uh, and the others being um, the uh, instas and I got the insta on my chest so with the insta being on my chest that should help us a lot What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, Insta360 cam off and put it down by the by the soft tail. And by doing so, when we go over some of these rough bumps here, we should be able to see that soft tail just uh, do this, right? So you guys know what PAS is, right? PAS, Pedal Assist Systems, um, it's how much power you get by pedaling. Uh, this is a cadence sensor, so it feels you go and it's going to move. I want to talk to you about something I this is my this is mine not anyone else's I'm saying this this has the PPAS system all right so what PPAS system stands for power performance agility with that soft tail and stance look at the stance of that bike look at that the the the, the rake of the front fork uh, the way the back comes down, uh, at this point we don't have a rear rack for it, um, but I'm probably going to get a rear rack that goes to the, uh, the neck of the seat because uh, I, I, that's, I think, what I want. I don't know that I want the original, uh, you know, if they're going to make one for it, uh, rack now obviously if they if they make one and they give it to me I'll put it on show you guys how it works how, how it goes on how it assembles but I think I'm gonna get one for the seat as well this runs off of 20 amp uh, battery 52 volts as usual for the Magicycle it has the same uh, 96 Newton meter 750 watt Shangji motor um, really it's about exactly the same as the Cruiser Pro. 
looks like it has the Cruiser Pro upper bar and the Ocelot lower bar a little bit more stretched out and uh, on 26 by 4 inch tires versus 20 inch tires um, everything else to me seems about the same is that a bad thing no it's not a bad thing at all it's really a good thing because it's uh, something Magicycle knows very well what they're getting into with this bike uh, it's a beautiful bike uh, and I and I like it a lot man I think it's just fantastic um, so let's take it for a little bit more ride I'm gonna go down this road here I'm gonna try to put the insta 360 on the back or hold it I think holding it might be better for me no let's see if I can let's see if I can move it from here to the back and if I can do that oh yeah that might help me a lot guys to I don't know if it'll be the right angle yeah I think I can make the angle any angle I want because it's a 360 camera yeah all right let's take this and see how it does over there see them ripples right there that's where we're going we're gonna go in the ripples so I'm not used to getting on on the right side I'm usually a left side get on her and a left side get off her but because we're doing this especially for you we'll do it all right guys here we go we're about to hit the ripples and you don't feel much up above I don't know how it's looking to you guys but from this point it doesn't feel like much I'm gonna try to hit some potholes as well but these ripples are doing nothing up above here to me all right we're gonna go more to the middle some more potholes here now we're gonna hit some of these you should be able to see that ripple right there and some more ripples right here and we'll come off to the side and get a few more ripples in right here And I'm doing that at about 16 to 17 miles an hour, guys. All right. Now, I'm going to bring the camera back up where it was. And we're going to continue riding. Uh, I got it up a little higher. I don't know how it's going to work out from a, a standpoint of a, a visual effects. But... This is what we got. And this is just an addition to building the bike. So I hope you guys can appreciate that. And then the next thing we're going to do here, we're hitting some more potholes. The next thing we're going to do is uh, take it for a longer ride. So the fact that you can put the Ocelot battery on this uh, makes it fantastic because I have an Ocelot Pro and I also have this so with both of them there really is no need for me to have a secondary battery on this or the Ocelot Pro unless the boss oh some big bumps did you see the camera drop down you guys I probably fixed that and you don't see it we're gonna lower it a little bit here but uh what was I saying oh with the two batteries um, unless my wife is coming with me and uh, I decide to go out for a long ride typically a long ride she's not going to do it with me anyway so I'm pretty well limited to maybe 25 miles 30 miles with her uh, but I certainly want to take this bike out I'm in PAS 1 so I certainly want to take this bike out and uh, uh, go for a long two battery ride now that's going to be from me Hillsboro Oregon into Beaverton somewhere or maybe beyond and back so uh, you know I have to watch it I'm, I know for a fact this bike uh, well the Ocelot can do 23 miles with my big body on it uh, and not pedaling one stitch so I'm assuming I'll be able to go around 30 out for sure and 30 back 
So 60 miles is plenty, and that's using uh, very little uh, pedal assist. That's just using some pedal assist. So that's where it's at. How's the bike feel? Um, the, the, the tail feels really squishy, kind of interesting, because I don't have any soft tails. This is the first soft tail. Uh, I feel it rides very similar to my Cruiser Pro, or my Cruiser. Um, just a little bit different. And I don't know if the, uh, the rake of the fork is uh, a little bit more out there or not. It feels, looks like it's a little bit out there to me. And I kind of like it. I like the look. Now, people are going to go, well, what's the big difference between this and the Cruiser Pro? Uh, two things. The battery, it's the way it's made. So, you know, if you're getting your wife the Ocelot or the Ocelot Pro and you want a bigger bike, this is its companion bike for sure. I would not get... If it were my money, I would not get an Ocelot or an Ocelot Pro and turn around and buy a Cruiser Pro. I would not get one of the Ocelots and, uh, and think that, well, it's okay, I'll never need it. You really don't know. It becomes so much fun that uh, it's, it's worth getting a matching battery without having to pay the 800 or 600 dollar matching battery price to get a secondary battery that's what make this a steal a bargain and a deal now riding this bike right now i don't know what the price is going to be i know magicycle listed it at nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars guys that's that was just kidding that's just that's uh humor but the bike, I don't know what it's going to be. I honestly do not. I, if I did, I'd say it right now because this video is not coming out until they release it. Uh, but they have not told us that. But my opinion if, is if it's within hundreds of dollars of the other one, uh, and you are getting your wife the Ocelot, and maybe you're the bigger woman and you're going to get your little husband the Ocelot and you're going to ride the Cruiser or the Cruiser Step Through. Or you even get a Cruiser Step Through for the wife. Get a Cruiser or Step Through for yourself because two similar batteries make sense. Now, with the Cruiser and the Cruiser Step Through, those two batteries were the same as well. So it makes sense. You can use both batteries to, to go on your way. If you get two Ocelots, you're good. You know, you can take one of them if you want to go riding by yourself, like I do all the time. I ride by myself all the time, guys. All the time. Um, and that's because I do a lot of YouTubing, and my wife really don't want to hear me talk no more. <laughs> So you'll notice, you may hear up, see a slight break in the, in the uh, content. It's because I'm still getting over a little cold, and uh, I, I don't want you to have to hear the cough. So I might break it, or, or, or uh, you may see a slight skip. Um, and this video is already going to be long because of the unboxing. But I just want to make sure you guys understand what you're getting here. This is basically a Cruiser Pro with suspension, with rear suspension that feels pretty good. <laughs> and uh, no rack, no rear rack at this point in time. There's no rear rack. Um, and the display is set from the factory properly. I, I think Magicycle's probably got that one figured out and probably gonna make sure that's, that's an accurate thing from here on out. Um, I don't know beyond that that I can say it's significantly different from a Cruiser Pro. Uh, I think the stance is better, though. My personal feeling and my personal opinion is how it looks just looks better. Now, 
I'm going to tell you this. Some people go, well, why didn't they make it more powerful and blah, blah, blah. Why didn't they make it a thousand watt motor? Why didn't they do this or that? Here's why. Here's why. Magicycle likes to conform to the rules and the laws that their bike is in. If you notice when Magicycle was selling bikes in Canada, Canada's rule is 500 watts. Magicycle didn't sell 750 watt motors. You'd have to buy it from the U.S. and have it shipped to Canada. Now, the U.S. is 750 watts legally on an e-bike. Anything more than that is illegal and potentially illegal. So I asked that question myself because I was like, you know, why didn't it come a little more powerful? Why didn't it come faster in, in that? Because the motor's capable of it. And the response was the owner of the company, which I respect, wants to keep it legal within the United States of America. And I commend him for that. Now, some of you will say, well, I'm going to get this or that or this or that. You know, that's your, that's your prerogative. That's your free will. That's your ability to do so. But um, none of them going to have this. Well, some might have this uh, rear suspension. Uh, and, and I think that the price on this one is pretty phenomenal. We're going to pick up speed here. I'm going to come around the corner. Uh, but holy cow, this is a nice bike, guys. I just wanted to touch... Oh, and the other thing this one has different than the Cruiser, or Cruiser Pro, I mean, is this bike has bangle brakes. The other uh, bikes are Tektro. Very similar brakes. I, I don't know that there's a quality difference between them. Uh, but they're nice brakes. These bangle brakes will stop you on a dime. So, here, let's say I'm going uh, 24, 25, let's stop them. Oh, yeah, I, I'm not even squeezing them hard. I'm, I'm, I got nervous. I got nervous. All right. So, what, what, you know, just so you guys know, I, I, I want you to know a couple of things. My first bike that I bought uh, in 2010 were called caulk-off bikes. I got the, and I didn't ride them, but I got, man, I just want to get a better e-bike. I just want a better e-bike. So I did my research and finally came up with, I'm going to buy the Magicycle. And when I bought my first two Magicycles in uh, October, of uh, 2021, uh, best decision I made, that was the best 2021 decision, and I made it in October. Usually I kind of say, what was the best thing I bought for the year? And uh, one thing I bought a long time ago, many years back, in like 2004 or something, I don't know, uh, maybe 2003, was uh, a fine multi-tool. Look up fine, F-E-I-N, multi-tool, and you'll see... This is the best one made. I spent a lot of money on it, and since then, the patent's gone out, and there's been copycats all over the place. But my fine tool is a commercial-grade uh, multi-tool. So I usually do a lot of research when I buy them. Now, you know, there are other bikes that are uh, quite comparable to this bike, um, but none, none, with the uh, customer support uh, that Magicycle has. Now, by customer support, you may say, well, they didn't respond to me. They didn't get back to me. Just talk to them a couple of times. Leave a couple of messages. Maybe they're on holiday. Right now, they're on holiday. But they will get back with you. You reach out a couple of times, and they will absolutely absolutely get back with you and help you figure out a solution to your problem now back when i got my cruiser i said and this was back early on i said they were a five-star customer service support um and that's what i honestly believe 
I haven't said it in a long time. I haven't said they're five star, but they are still five star customer support because they work on it, people. They work hard to get it done. And some people, you know, you'll, you'll hear, oh, Magicycle did me wrong, Magicycle did this, Magicycle did that. All companies have issues, but Magicycle's customer, customer support is not one of their issues, really. Um, you know, there's there's a drop here and there, but it, it's usually picked up and, uh, and they usually throw the guy out at first base if you follow baseball. Yeah, this is uh, also, just so you know, <laughs> this bike now will be my daily ride. This uh, will be the bike that I ride the most, uh, even though I have a lot of uh, review bikes that I ride and I have to, uh, look at no hands, that I ride and have to ride. And uh, not that I have to ride them, but I ride them because I like them too. But uh, for this big guy, this bike is my bread and butter. This bike is the bike uh, that started it all for me. Uh, Magicycle did. And um, I like it. So all summer long, you're going to see me on this bike. Um, <laughs> yeah, all summer long. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm low on battery. I didn't charge it fully uh, because I just wanted to get out on it and been busy. But uh, she's doing 27.2 miles an hour at 83% charge. So I'd imagine uh, if I'm 100% charged with my body on it, she'll, she'll probably get right at 28. Now the little Ocelot Pro with me on it, same bike, basically just smaller, doesn't weigh as much, gets around uh, 28 and a half or so with me, maybe 29, I don't know, a little faster than this bike, to be honest, but it's the same, uh, it's the same principle, this just has a little more weight, and when you have a little more weight, that's what happens. I'm currently running this at 28 pounds of pressure in the tires, and it feels really, really good. When you pedal, you can feel a little bit of the bounce, and that's pretty good too. Now, I think my bike, and I will put up a, a note right here, is a, a 42 tooth front sprocket. Uh, in talking to Richard, they're gonna make it a 52 tooth front sprocket. He thought mine should have 48. I don't know if it does. I thought I counted it, and I thought I counted 42. So, uh, for me, I like it because when I have to go up hills, that just helps me get up hills a little easier. You may say, well, your, your ghost pedal when you're going fast. Yeah, usually when I'm going fast, I'm not pedaling, to be honest. I mean, I'm pedaling now because I'm going fast, but I'm just pedaling to keep my legs lubricated. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Just so you know, I'm going to talk a little bit about my channel. I would love to have people that see this video and aren't subscribed to subscribe. I'm just an ordinary guy doing ordinary things on my bike. That's what my channel is about now. Biking, e-biking. Ordinary guy doing ordinary things on an e-bike. And if you like watching that kind of content and you don't mind uh, my mistakes here and there, and my, my long-winded self, please join the channel. And uh, if you don't want to watch them all, it's okay. But at least plug in, watch a few of them, uh, maybe watch them, uh, and, and uh, hopefully either get some enjoyment out of it, get a little learnings out of it. This bike is amazing. This is probably, look at that. Look at that. I, I can't believe it. I, I don't ride bikes without hands. And this one is very stable. I think this is probably the most stable bike in the pack. And uh, I've been riding some stable ones lately. I didn't think fat tires were as stable uh, without hands as a road bike kind of thing. But this is stable. Um, yes, this has cruise control too. 
Uh, anyway, if you like my channel or you would subscribe, I would appreciate it. Um, the more subscribers I have, and like I said, I'm just an ordinary guy, the more I will be able to uh, review products for you. And I review them. I, I, I'll be running the mess out of these bikes. You'll see. I run the mess out of my bikes. I don't just do one review and walk away. So my bike is gray. This comes in a beautiful lime green and a very beautiful yellow bike. My Ohio State Buckeyes are scarlet and gray. So eventually this is going to get decked out with some uh, Buckeye stickers. And this is going to be my Buckeye bike. Yes, indeed. All right, guys. Just a short ride. I may cut some of this out because I know I talk long and I know we get a lot of stuff going on. But it's a beautiful bike. Uh, road exceptional. And uh, again, thanks for joining me. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Watch this ordinary guy. All right, guys.